Are you serious? Are you serious? August 21st, 2017, the total eclipse of the sun, actually the great American solar eclipse, is going to happen. But will it and is it going to cause a national disaster? Now, according to experts, porta potty shortages, sell your phone blackouts, ambulances stuck in gridlock, these are the conditions that FEMA and other emergency managers across the United States are expecting the week of August 21st when millions of people converge on the very narrow path of totally the totalitary to be able to see the entire thing, the great American solar eclipse. It's amazing that it happens to be Heidi and I, it's our 35th wedding anniversary on that very day. But I tell you right now, this is going to be a sign in the heavens. Now, I've actually did a DVD on uh, this solar eclipse and on past solar eclipses. Matter of fact, I did a, this, this DVD special has a complete PowerPoint presentation and footage of eclipses and historical events that have happened in other solar eclipses in history, as well as the fact that this great American eclipse, the last time we had one go all the way across the country from, uh, from each coast, was on November 30th, 1776. This is huge. What is the prophetic sign that God is sending? And it's only 33 days before the great constellation in the heavens, which is found in the book of Revelation chapter 12. Are you serious? 33 days. And then seven more days, of course, is Yom Kippur, making, of course, the Day of Atonement under the Jewish feast days. Now, that sign in the heavens of uh, Revelation 12, that's taking place on the Feast of Trumpets. I put this entire series together explaining to you the importance of and the prophetic sign of the great American solar eclipse, as well as the great wonders in the heavens, the two great signs in the heavens that will be uh, viewable in the constellations for the first time ever and never to happen again, and was prophesied by John the Revelator in Revelation chapter 12, and how they tie into the Jewish feast days of the Feast of Trumpets and Yom Kippur. Also, don't forget, a third sign, and that is asteroid TC4 that's going to go whizzing by the earth very close. I mean, so close it could hit us or the debris might hit us. It is so close it's unbelievable. That's going to happen October 12th. These, all of this information and all the historical information and the biblical prophetic narrative of these events is all in a DVD that I just released. It's at my website. Go to my website. I'll put the link below. It takes you right to the website where you can get this DVD. You need to get it. It's called The Total Eclipse of the Sun. S-O-N. It's a, t a powerful message giving you all the information of the solar eclipse of the sun, S-U-N, and how that's affected history. But do you understand the prophetic message of the solar eclipse of the Son of God. Now, this is powerful. It's all tied in together. It's in that DVD. I want you to get it, please. This will bless you and help you, I think, strengthen you uh, as you, so that to help you understand what is this, what's the significance of this solar flare, this, excuse me, solar eclipse, the great American eclipse, and what's the spiritual and prophetic significance of Revelation 12. Those two signs, a lot of times you hear everybody talk about the one, about the woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and giving birth to the man child, which was Jupiter coming out of her womb. That's all in the constellation of Virgo. And then in her crown, which is the constellation of Leo, there's 12 stars. Normally there's nine, nine permanent stars. But during that day, three planets move into perfect alignment, Mercury, Mars, and Venus making this unbelievable uh, constellation alignment never before and never again will take place in history. You need to understand why and what is the biblical ramifications. 
We all know about the woman, but do you know about the red dragon, the other wonder in heaven? All of it explained in this powerful DVD. So check it out. It's at my website. And, and I'm saying this because I've been inundated. I have been literally inundated with emails and questions. Paul, can you tell us more about Revelation 12? I have preached on it three, four times, but I go into pure in-depth study in this DVD. It's a, it's professionally done. I think you'll be, you'll love it. And how, and all of it, the scriptures are put on there, the graphics, everything, the PowerPoint, along with this powerful message. You don't want to miss this DVD. Great teaching on the total eclipse of the sun. I'll be back with more. Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. But they're very concerned about this disaster. Will we have a major disaster? That's what FEMA's saying, that there's going to be so many people converging on the path of this total solar eclipse that there's going to be chaos traffic jams, madness all along the path. So we'll have to wait and see. And don't forget Carbondale, Illinois, because in seven years when the total eclipse of the sun happens again, but coming from the other direction and cuts across the country, it will intersect at Carbondale, Illinois. Why Carbondale? Well, I've done a lot of research on that. That'll blow your mind. All right. So we'll be back with more in just a moment. Don't forget today's live broadcast starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbeckleyprophecy.com.